In this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, we go to an auction and rescue over 50 horses. We're joined by multiple organizations. You will not want to miss this special episode where we go to auction and pull horses out of the slaughter pipeline. But first, we had an adoption event, and you're gonna have to watch all of the adoptions before we get to the auction. So I hope you enjoy this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes. So this is what happens when you don't charge the golf cart. You gotta push yourself all the way to quarantine. You're not done yet. It just shows my muscles. <laughs> and it's also very muddy, so you know, combination of things didn't really help us today. Um, so if you want to open that gate or into that pen, I'll just get these guys to come up in there. Uh, some of the horses are out, so I'm gonna just get them up by the vet barn so we can do their weight and warming. Yeah, usually they come running right to there and then they all go away. Isn't that the easiest you've seen that happen? Yeah. We're bringing the healthy horses out of quarantine. The horses that are still sick are gonna stay in quarantine a little while longer until they're healthy and cleared by the vet. his nose. Good and I already warmed him and he needs his feet done and now he's ready for you. Oh he didn't lose and he didn't gain. He weighs exactly the same he did when he came in. Must be all that squealing you do. Can't see anything can you? The hair though. I know, he can't see anything. That neck too. Look, you're so well behaved. Doc needs to look at her and she's losing weight and we've been pouring feed to her. This horse, we've been doctoring and giving antibiotics and stuff to her leg. Um, so she came in, Doc's pretty sure it's a bow tendon and it just keeps getting worse. It's not, it hasn't gotten any better. And she's so, losing weight. She's losing weight and she's still super light. So she's definitely on the vet list. Oh, so gross. It'll make you feel so much better. Oh goodness, oh so gross. So gross. She lost 15 pounds. She won't eat is the problem. Her nose is good. It's like a tiny bit like clear, but. 348, he lost a little weight, but they usually lose weight when they get gilded. One thousand thirty pounds. Seems like she has especially sensitive skin to the bugs. So we got most of them out. We're gonna soft quarantine them for another week in the top pasture. We had two take off on us, so we'll come back in the morning when they're hungry again and try to finish them up. 
and then a couple are too sick to take out, so we'll have the vet check them and see how they do. The concrete crews are showing up this morning to get the rest of the vet hospital poured. It may not look like it, but we're going to be chaotically busy today. It's the adoption event. Sunday morning, bright and early, 7.30, everybody's getting ready. And it's also filming for Horse Rescue Heroes. And so, it's just going to be a crazy day. So Caleb, you're prepping for all the filming Horse Rescue Heroes, right? I am. Getting tripods ready, making sure we got a lot of gear, everything. Working, ready to go. If any of you get a weird feeling about a visitor, come and talk to us inside because we want to make sure we're adopting horses to the right places, not some crazy Yahoo that wants to take them to the auction or something. So we're catching horses for the adoption event. Diamond. We're heading out to catch some more horses. Up, just kind of work our way up the alleyway. So Shelby, what are you guys doing today? We are filming for Horse Rescue Hero Season 2. I'm working on um, adoption applications, um, appointments, make, checking everybody, making sure everybody's coming, just getting everything ready for the adoption appointments. How many horses are on your list, Andy, to catch um, up today? We still have, we've brought in four or six so far, and we probably still have like six or seven more, and then all the wild ones that Jesse's doing. So probably like 20. Got three horses uh, ready, caught up in the riding arena to show to the first adopter. Where are they parking, I guess I should ask. Um, they can just pull in like normal. This is Soldier, so he's a little pony. He just came out of quarantine about a week ago. I would love to have a younger one that yeah. I can start training you know, from the ground up by myself and then looking to get him into riding. So I would love to find something that's really steady for steady. him. Yeah, laid back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, basically all of ours have either been rescue, given a new home to, or yeah. That's <laughs> that's awesome. We uh we've always tried to do the rescue. <laughs> He's so sweet. Very from us. Jesse's tacking up soldier to his show and his uh, potential adoptive home. What a nice boy he is. What do you think about asking a soldier? Do you want to adopt him? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> And this is Maddie, okay. and she's gonna take your appointment over from here. Okay. And then I'll see you guys back in the office. All right, okay. so that's good. Halter training, but they're not necessarily completely halter broke right now. All right. I can okay. run, we can run them into the round pen. All right. So that way you can have kind of a feel for them and okay. you can see how get to know they go. Okay. The 
if you wanna work with her a little bit, go in there, see how your feel for her. So do you guys think you want to adopt Rory? Yeah, I want to adopt Rory. How many times has she been in the shoot? Um, a good like seven, eight times probably. All right, they're going to adopt Rory. Rory's um, microchip information. All right. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. How's the adoption event going, Sarah? Going good. So far, we have three adopted. If you want to come in and drive her forward from the back. Okay. Rory just started halter training last week, so she's not quite sure what it means to be led onto a trailer yet. So we're just going to run her on. We'll give all the credit to Jesse today. It's going great. We've had uh, three adoptions so far. I'm looking for the last horse that was just adopted, Rory, the Arabian mare. And she's somewhere on that wall. She's somewhere on this wall. And I, I oh, here she is. Here she is. She yeah. just got adopted. So we're gonna move her over here. Here on the, on the wall. And well, I'm too the, short. Found its home this month. So adoption appointment number three showed up. Yes. And unfortunately, they don't have a trailer. We would like outside dining if possible. You'd like outside dining? All right. <laughs> talk to Maddie about your your questions, okay? Okay. So. Now which one Hi guys, here's Maddie, Hi. and she'll help you guys. Okay. I'm just looking at the horses. I see why he's called Titan. <laughs> <laughs> he's big, but he's like a gentle duck. If you yeah. felt, you know, get weight on him, he should be perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah. And like muscling him up a bit, he'll be. Yeah. It's all her call. I mean, I just. <laughs> You're the one that gets to spoil him. Yeah. I mean, I'd take them all if I could. Well, it would it would make me thrilled to death if you took him because I I, could I know. see I could see his progress and what a big horse he he all becomes. He's a big. They really think he's a nice horse, but he's a little old. Um, and they would they would absolutely love to take him home and love him and um, give him a great home as long as he needs it. And he's always welcome back here, so he does have the option to come back. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And and he just needs somewhere to love. And you can already tell he's fallen in love with your husband. Mm -hmm. and, and well, that'll be his horse. We'll see. Well, I mean, I'm old. So this is his horse, and he'll come back and find one for me. Well, yeah. be, well that's so what I'm saying. You're a taller guy. You can have a taller horse. That's all right. Yeah. No, he's he's perfect for you. <laughs> what do you think, okay, dude? What, what do you think, dude? What do you think, dude? You get two free kittens. With oh, no, 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 no. Titan's getting saddled up. Hold on the horn, baby. My insides feel wiggly. Your insides feel wiggly? <laughs> yeah. I think this would be a perfect adoption photo. <laughs> yes, I think it would be. With her. Okay. One, two, three, look at the camera, look at the camera. Perfect. All right, they're going to adopt Titan. Yay! The next appointment canceled so they can look at more horses. So they get to look at more horses because the appointment canceled and um, Captain Red Yay. and Venus. Yay! Yay. Something to eat. He's gonna be a little one, you don't have brain going out to get him. <laughs> I got the horn too. <laughs> Very well trained. 
he's an older guy. For what you're just wanting to yeah. have him around your farm, he'd be fine. You're not taking him on big long trail rides or anything. Just, just a nice horse to be around the farm. He'd be perfect. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> what do you guys think? Two horses in one day? I don't know. He's a little uh, small. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to Doc, yeah, he is small. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because that's the problem is you get the kids up there, then they start, you know, you buying them. Come on, little girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> Wednesday. It felt good for a minute until we switched directions yeah. and it was like, oh. Is that a yes on, on, on this cap and red? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's get an adoption photo. All right, they're gonna adopt Captain Red. Mine's spirit. Mine's snowflake. Ah, spirit and snowflake. Oh, look. Kids can eat this? So the other Humane Society is here to pick up the puppy that was surrendered a couple days ago. And we're just thankful there is a Humane Society locally that will take dogs and puppies especially. And uh, we're going to get that done. smelled like he was in a hoarder house. Like just, he smelled terrible. We'll get, we'll get him, we'll get him, yeah. we'll get him. Well, you want to give you a donation for taking him? Oh, and, um, yes, I have to do that. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, well, we're just I tried so to get to a home for you. I tried to take you home. <laughs> how, how late are they, Angela? 30 minutes. <laughs> that doesn't make you happy either. <laughs> Uh, did you uh, get that paper? You'll need one for each adult, or you can put both of your names on there inside of the box. So this is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. And this is Christine. And Aria. And Aria. And Aaron. And Jesse's going to help you with Kalila. Okay, great. Who gets to say it's too soon to be falling for you? Cause I've heard of things like this before But didn't know the dream still came true A lot of them go through a lot. Yes. So. My first rescue was a Tennessee Walker and she had a bolting issue, mm -hmm. um, which was fine. We mainly just rode around our property in a safe and closed environment. As soon as you took her out of the gate, she would bolt. I had three trainers come out and work with her. And the third one, I thought she was the perfect match. I said, if anyone can do this, you can. And after our fifth lesson, uh, she bolted. The trainer was laying down on the street as my horse took off toward home. And pretty much she just said, I don't know. <laughs> so we tried and she ended up just being kind of a, a, a pet, which was great, loved her dearly. Yeah, no, we like her. We will, we will we'll take you home. <laughs> She's super sweet. She's just precious. She sounds great. I mean, I wouldn't ever say no to the right horse. Yeah. So, I mean, a good match is more important than looks or breed. She's just taking her for a spin and then they're going to adopt Kalila and Zephyr. They're going to adopt Kalila and Zephyr. The folks here are out of state, and so we have Dr. Duncan here to do the health certificates. Right, one for each of you, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's perfect. Send us up, We will. Thank Take you. Take care. I guess I'm driving. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> uh, she needs to be under somebody's child. Okay. And then she'll need a driver's license. Okay. 
Yes, Thank you. Right. So if you have any questions, you yeah, talk to Jesse. Okay. And this is Laura Live. So can you remind me kind of what you're looking for? Um. I, I wanted a mare, and I've always worked with Arabians. Okay. Um, I worked at Hollis Solitaire Horse Farm in Glasgow, Kentucky, so I've always worked with Arabians. So you understand their sensitivity. Absolutely, yes. So who are you guys adopting? Lorelai. At least I'll switch over to mine. Yep. All right. Thank, thank you guys so much. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Lorelai is now moving over to our adopted mom. Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> So All right, so this is Maddie. You'll be working with her Hi. today. Nice to meet you. Nice to introduce nice you to too. Indigo and Lucy. Lucy. Oh, awesome. Yes. All right. It's been a little bit, but it's better. So has she ever been handled by any not people, people at all? Here. It's just a little bit of leading we've done and even that's not a ton. What is happening? Well, we have two adopters who want to see the same horse. So we have one adopter who is being shown the horse and the other one's waiting at the gate while we figure out what's happening next. When I adopted my Mustang, he was seven. All right, she's adopting Venus. Hi. So nice in here. <laughs> and because it is a special event, we were doing uh, adoption fees as donations. Looking for love on that ball and then it's just on the other. Oh, it's just cake. Yep. Yay! Found it. <laughs> Found it. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day. I kind of was wondering if they have anything that's not just a solid color that we can show. That's not a solid color? We're looking for a spotted saddle. And you guys are looking for one to like just trail ride and Yeah, we have. Uh, He went right in the water. He loved it. Alrighty. Well, thanks. Yeah, we'll definitely be in contact. Like if someone comes up that we think would be a good fit for you. Or... Okay. Yeah, I'll put it on your application. All right. Thank you. Right, thank you guys. They were interested in finding a spotted saddle horse, and so we showed them Donovan, which he isn't a spotted saddle horse, and even though he was nice, they weren't interested in him. So we had nine appointments so good. for the last one. And we've adopted our ten so far. Yes. So I'll leave you with Maddie, and she's going to show you the horses that you're so safe to have. Okay, thank you. Some options. Um, if you want, like, we have Donovan for saddle broke, and then we have one that's halter broke. Um, she just got weaned off a baby, so we don't know if she's saddle broke yet. Um, so we were going to show you her too if you wanted to look at her. When you put him on the road or the trail, he'll just drop his head and he just wants to walk on. 
So this adopter has been following Donovan ever since we rescued him. She saw me get kicked by him and seen his adoption update videos for his promotion of adoption. And um, I think that they might do really, really well together. Uh, Donovan seems to connect with her and Donovan needs somebody that can really just bond with him and, and love him and show him that everything's going to be okay. So we got some exciting news. Oh, I'm taking Donovan. I'm so excited. Which is so awesome because she's watched his whole story. It was so unbelievable. And, and I'm glad that you are all right. Yeah, well, you he, can actually he will feel be all right. So you can feel right house. here. This is the dent he I, left. I can yep, see you it. can see it's, it. It's just right it's, there. Muscle damage there, mm, but he's so, a thinker. Yeah. Don't hold, it him. Don't hold against him. Just be patient with him. And he's a sweet horse. He's just somebody's been really bad, mean to him. Like yeah. it's it's really sad. But I think he will be good. I know he's going to get lots of love. Yes. Well, I am so thrilled you're getting him and he's going to have a good home. I am very and, happy to have him. And if for some reason there's ever issues, I mean, you can contact us. He's always welcome back. Right. But um, I think the two of you, you seem very soft hands when you're touching him and okay. stuff. Well, Donovan's getting adopted. Ooh, that's awesome. That's We're awesome. so, so excited for him. I will send you guys pictures. And yes, then... we love to have updates, please. Yep, I'll let you guys know. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Yeah. You too. Eight years old, five years old, and two. Good, good size for them. My son's wearing 12 year old clothes though, so he's oh, big wow. for his age. <laughs> A little bit. He's going to take time and stuff, but that's something that we've got plenty of too, you know? Yeah. It's not like he has to be kid safe in 30 days. All right, he's going to adopt Doodlebug. Yay, so just come right over here. Nice. Doodlebug just got adopted. It's our final appointment for our adoption event. We've had an amazing two days and we have adopted out now 12 horses. So we're so excited for Doodlebug. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Now let me hold the camera while you get the box. Okay. Jesse's gonna guide you over to oh. like opening the door for a guy. I feel like <laughs> a little backwards here. <laughs> I'm not the nicest at this. What are you doing? <laughs> Guys, we're gonna do that. So. <laughs> Here, you and, and, and Shelby will bring you an extra pair of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh! she broke his Where are they? <laughs> it's like warm. It is warm, oh, but it's like also it feels nice. It's like bath up <laughs> Oh, I just. It's so dirty. <laughs> it is he just like <laughs> laid back. Uh. I knew what was I happening. I knew the fate. <laughs> There's nothing I can do at that point. You didn't even guilt trip us. So I would say redneck hot tub, but it's not hot and it's it not ready. It it's very hot out. It's lukewarm. Last I looked, it felt like like 90 something. It's like bath water. It felt yeah, like I was, like it didn't feel like I was actually getting into a pool. Uh -huh. I was just dropping to something liquid. <laughs> She's like, I can touch. This is weird. How many horses are we rescuing tonight? Uh, I'd say 60. 
Yeah, or 70. 60 or 70. Y'all are optimistic. That is awesome. That's what we like to do. Hey, that's what we're, well, we're preparing for 100. You never know yeah. what's going to happen. So, uh, Sarah, I'm asking everybody predictions on how many horses we're rescuing tonight. 63. Uh, my guess is 57. Alrighty, Angela. Oh, um, hmm. Um, huh. How many horses we're gonna get? I'm gonna say, hmm, 40. Okay, Kate. Okay. Are you out there getting the trailers ready? Yeah, out getting the trailers ready. I'm gonna guess 63. Three. All right, Jesse's back here, Jesse. 75. 75, all right, that's Maddie. Uh, 82. Caleb, Caleb, come back. How many horses are we rescuing tonight? I don't know, we'll find out. Hopefully well, we're lots. taking predictions. Oh, um, I'm hoping for more than we did in Horse Rescue Heroes Season 1. So I think that was 53. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping 55 maybe. Corey, 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 Corey. Hey. We're taking predictions. Oh, this looks bad, terrible lighting. Okay. How many horses do you think we're going to rescue tonight? Oh, man. I know oh, you've only been see. here less than a week, but. Well, you guys keep saying at least over 50. So I'm going to guess around 60 to 65. All right, good deal. And me, I think we are rescuing 48. That's my official prediction. So Big Red's hooked up and it's getting ready to head to the auction and I'm gonna be driving the 16 foot trailer that's over there, uh, myself in my personal truck. And Keith's been out here cleaning out this trailer, getting it all ready for the auction. So what you got there? Uh, lead ropes and halters. The auction box, which um, was thoroughly discussed in last episode. If you wanna see what is in there, go ahead and click the link that just showed up on your screen. So we're ready to go, Keith? Yep, getting everything loaded up and we're just about ready to head down the road. All I need to do is load up all the people <laughs> instead of horses. Not slower this time because we have even more people going with us. Yep, oh yeah, yep. Everything's been going really good with the organization we're mentoring and we're gonna be heading to the auction. The filming is a little bit difficult because uh, two of our filmers are gonna be on the organization we're mentoring and me and then Jason's gonna be behind the camera. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging for our media team but I know they can do it. Um, we hope to rescue a lot of horses tonight, at least 30, maybe more. going to two different gas stations but we are a, probably about 20 miles away from the auction right now we hope to rescue a lot of horses tonight I'm really thinking we're gonna be able to rescue probably at least 30 um, and we uh, the horses we never know what it's gonna be like when we go to auctions and the horses we're going to see are emotionally what we're going to be faced with. But every time we go to the auction, we know that these horses need help. And we're there and we have the ability to help them. We are mentoring another organization uh, all this week. And um, we're bringing them to this auction so they can see really how we do auction rescues. Because if they can replicate this in their, their neck of the woods, more horses can be helped and i just want to thank you so much for your love and support that enables us to you know have our boots on the ground and be rescuing horses that you know would never have the opportunity you know to live a life that they deserve once they enter the slaughter pipeline so thank you so much for your support we're really hoping to be able to rescue like 54 horses that would be one more than last time we were mentoring at the auction but a lot depends on how many horses are here, what their price is, how many donations come in. A lot of things have to work together to really make it a great auction rescue. But our goal is at least 30, so yeah. we're gonna do our best. At least 30, and we got our film crew back there, and the organization we're mentoring is following us, and uh, we got some surprises for them. 
at the auction, so it's gonna be super fun. We cannot film until we get to the back of the uh, auction area. So we just need to put the cameras down, walk back there, and then when we're back there, we can kind of assess what happens. They probably look at horses on the way. We can look at horses on the way, but as far as the camera crew, we got to respect the auction owner, put the cameras down until I tell you all you can film again. Hello. Hey everyone, I just stepped out of the building here. There's a lot of horses here tonight and um, we were approached and asked if we would buy 37 before the auction started. Um, it's just about ready to start now and I haven't been able to send out an email because we were trying to work and negotiate um, basically the, the money and what it would cost for these 37 uh, horses before the sale. Now, if we purchase them before the sale, that means um, it still goes through the sale office, so the auction is fine with it. But that means these horses don't have to go through the actual um, auction ring. They don't have to go down the alleyways, it saves them a lot of stress. But right now what I need you to do is make that donation because 37 horses is a lot and that's a huge amount of horses to purchase. And I haven't even, I haven't even been able to send out our fundraiser email since we've gotten here. Um, that's a donkey behind me. So please, 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 if you can help us tonight, uh, 37 horses before the sale were able to purchase, but we need your help to do that. So uh, please uh, share this video. We're at the auction right now in Middle Tennessee, just outside of Cookville, and um, we're gonna make a difference tonight. And you all are my heroes because without you, we wouldn't be able to come to these auctions. And I know these pens behind me are empty. Um, these are actually where we will be putting our horses. So there is grass in these pens and we're filling up fresh water. Um, so hopefully these pens will be full shortly, but the urgent need right now is there are 37 horses that we have the option to pull out and they won't even go through the auction ring, but it's gonna take a lot of money. It's gonna be over $20,000 to get these horses. So, you know, everyone comes together and donates just $5 right now. A lot will be accomplished tonight here for these horses. And, you know, our goal was to rescue over 30 horses. And if we're able to get these and the funds come in, we'll be able to continue rescuing. We would love to rescue, I mean, even more. I, I'm feeling a little nervous because there's a lot going on, but I have to go um, start fundraising out in the car. But the auction is starting, so I'm gonna send everyone in uh, to go do that and I will get the email sent out and then join them in the auction ring. We're not filming in the auction ring, um, but we'll let you all know what happens here shortly. A lady just came up with her two little kids and donated $40. She just watched the live feed I did and she, she says she hope it helps. So there's a lot of really good, kind-hearted people here that don't like to see horses get sent to slaughter. So if I can just get my internet to work, I need to send out this email really bad. I might have to drive away and get it sent out. I mean, if I have to go back to the hotel, I will, but I'm gonna miss the auction if I do that. Our website just crashed. Like I can't access it to do what we already had pre-written up. Oh, what am I gonna do? Okay. We'll just have to rewrite it. Do you remember what you wrote, Shelby? She's behind the camera. Um, we'll, we'll make it work. So I'm trying to get the email set out. Our website crashed and um, we had to go into a different platform. I cannot type out. I was kicked in the head when I was nine and I have, um, I have a disability. I cannot type things out without doing voice to text and without extreme difficulty. So I had to pull Shelby off of our media team to write this up so um, we can send it out to our donors. This is made extremely difficult and it looks like our website crashed. So uh, not good. No. All right, go ahead. We are at the auction right now and we need your help. Yeah, that's good. We need to pull in about the 37 horses. Okay. And we have to raise over $20,000 for them so that needs to it needs to be up at the top um also we need to just urgent and then um 
we've been asked to purchase 37 horses before the auction and this is going to cost over $20,000 just for their their uh, purchased price to pull them out of the slaughter pipeline. I'm on hold with our website uh, host provider because our website is not working and that's where people need to go to make donations. So I've rerouted them to PayPal, but I know we're gonna lose donations and we got 37 horses we're trying to buy right now. So it is extremely difficult. Hey everyone, um, I am having quite the night here. Um, I came out to send out this email. Jason's in uh, the auction along with um it's it's really amazing we were gonna do a live video feed together and show you that ponytails has come down to help us here rescue horses and that's the organization we mentored um two years ago we were here this very same week and we rescued 53 horses and i would love to do something like that tonight and i came out here to send out my email and our website is completely down and it's just blank and white and that's where people go to donate so I'm really just stressing because we, we receive a lot of donations through, through our website on these auction nights and now our website is down. I've called, I've called and tried to get them to, to give it up. I don't have good enough internet, they think, here at the auction and I can't um, get them to do it. So that being said, there is a PayPal link, there is a Venmo link, and we need your help tonight. Um, you know, there was 37 horses we were trying to buy before the auction started, and I don't even know if we were able to get them or not because I've been out here working with this website and trying to get the email sent out. I was able to send out the email, um, uh, thanks uh, to Shelby, who's, who's here also and um, trying to, to be able to help these horses tonight. So the team is in the auction ring. I have no idea what's happening or really what's going on in there. It looks like our website crashed um, maybe right about an hour ago. And that's when the last donation came in. And uh, this is not good. So if you could, Facebook. It's a great place to donate. 100% of the proceeds do come. There's a link in this uh, description of this video to uh, donate through Facebook. And I can track how much money is coming in through that donation button. And um, Venmo. We have the Venmo link there. And then also PayPal. So those are all up and functional. And I am I'm just really stressed out that the website is not working on, on all nights. We need it to work so bad. And it crashes on an auction rescue night so please send in those donations um i'm going to go into the auction ring see what's happening see if how many horses if we're able to rescue more if we were able to get those ones that uh, we were trying to discuss and i just don't know what's happening because i've been out here trying to deal with technical issues and that's not my forte i but we have to do what we have to do and um there are so many horses here that need help and I posted just one picture because I that's all I was able to get up um, usually I'm posting a lot of pictures but um, if you can just see the the look of fear in the horse's eye and just unsure it's it's there's so many horses like that here and we need your help thank you so much for your support I know you all are amazing and you're all my heroes because we couldn't do what what we do without you and um, it's it's just of all the nights really tonight our our website goes down but we're at the auction and uh, we already got we already saved some horses it's gonna be a really good night but uh, we have a lot of people here we're matching another organization and Tony Tales from all the way down from Wisconsin to be with us so it's gonna be a pretty awesome night hopefully we can save 50 ish horses 30 would our goal we always go over our goal so 40 50 somewhere there would be absolutely great it was a super amazing auction. We rescued over 50 precious lives. Yes. And we couldn't have done that without you guys. Like, I am totally, totally excited. We rescued over 50. Jason's like all ecstatic. I am just like overwhelmed and 
we rescued you know over 50 and that's amazing and that's with the help of ponytails and today was just crazy because they were driving here we were driving here we were trying to keep the organization we're mentoring out of the loop and we were able to meet up before the auction and, and you know it's just kind of chaotic but you know it's two years to this week that we were here uh and the mentoring was happening for you and you were coming to this auction and we rescued over 50 that time too so how long have you been on the road to get here for today for today we got on the road about eight o'clock this morning and then yesterday you were on the road yep so uh two days of driving to come here and then um you're also going to assist with the mentoring through thursday um to help this organization that we're mentoring so they can really see what it's like from somebody that's been there and went through this process and how your organization's doing now and it's it's just so awesome that um, Pony Chaos is doing so well. But let me add, 50 horses, Pony Sonk is mule, you know. Over. Over. 50 lives saved. And when you watch this, we do need your help because it's going to cost a lot to intake those. It's going to cost a lot to transport them, give them all the vet care they need, vaccinations, deworming, microchipping them, quarantining them for a month, and then finding them home. So our we auction, need yeah. your help. Our auction receipt alone was over $30,000 that we spent tonight to pull these horses out of the slaughter pipeline. And I know yours was only 3,000. So donations are needed and greatly for both appreciated for both of our organizations because, you know, we're we're here with our boots on the ground and, um, you know, these horses wouldn't, wouldn't be safe if it wasn't for us being here tonight. So thank you so much. Thank you all so much thank for you your support. So much. Yes. And you guys are the horse heroes the horse who heroes. donate yeah. to make we this can, possible. We couldn't do this without you, so thank you so much. Absolutely. It's always very difficult when we rescue such large number of horses to go through and find them all with their tag numbers. So we're just getting them in separate pens um, where they can relax. This horse has a nasty eye injury and we got fly mask for the Jenny thing. I'm sure it's got a nasty injury. Just watch this horse because he is, he just had his blood drawn and he's not happy. No. Three more. Three more coming. Mule here and sending it back where it can have food and water. So I do have a horse in here that I need to get out and uh, it's going to be running out here soon. Another horse coming down. How'd it go tonight? It went very well. I thought I thought it went really good. There were so many horses got rescued tonight. Yeah. I mean, lots. we just got done. Yeah, yeah, no, we did. And it's really, really late. All and the pens are full back there. All the horses are content. We're getting water to everybody right now. So I think it went really yeah. good. I think everyone's good. I just feel hot and muggy and sweaty, but mm -hmm. the horses are good and they're eating and they've, they've got I'll settle in back there. So you know, I hope that tomorrow back at the shelter will go just as smooth. I hope so. I, I think it will. You'll be there to help. So let's I make sure. It, let's make sure it does go I, as well as. I think. It, I think we got a really good group of horses that we were very lucky to be able to rescue tonight, and I can't wait to see what, what happens? happens for them. Yeah. I wish we got more sleep, but yeah. that's life. Well, hopefully the rest of them are more energized than we are. Because 50, over 50 horses, a lot of horses can take. That's going to be crazy this morning. And we have the awesome team from Ponytails. They're getting interviewed right now. Where are y'all from? From Wisconsin. Wisconsin. What are you doing in Tennessee? Saving, Saving ponies. ponies. We have a lot of horses here. Um, they should have hopefully all been good through the night. Um, we've got folks checking on them. Um, we do have a completely blind horse and uh, he's in this pen right here. He looks like he's doing fine. We left a buddy with him, so they look like they're doing good. All these horses are horses we were able to rescue last night. There's just so many awesome lives we were able to save. These are our critical tags. Um, so I'm gonna let you take them and we'll 
we'll kind of walk around and figure out what what right off the bat is looking really rough so they they need to be seen the first when they when we get back to the shelter this horse they put a fly mask on it to kind of hide what's happening under its fly mask um, I can see it looks really rough in there we're gonna be taking it off here shortly and trying to clean it up and look at it because it's uh, I can kind of smell it from here it's nowhere near as bad as some of the things I've smelled here on you know rotting flesh with horses but um, hey sweetie there's definitely a problem going on under this mask Caleb's doing an awesome job of piloting the drone and it really looks like he's getting some good footage of the auction and all of our horses back there words of wisdom Keith what you doing grabbing more cookies more cookies for the horses they seem to like these things Want some cookies? What do y'all think of the great idea of asking them to put a swimming pool up by intake so we just keep jumping in? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Hey, we need the stock tank up there and then we can jump in. But cool water this time. Yeah, cool water. Let's keep it in the shade. <laughs> Does it make you feel smaller, Angela? <laughs> yes. He was over at the other end of the pen and he came running over here and I was like, he wants attention. So he does make me feel small though. Any more over here of ours? I don't think, I didn't see any last night. No. I don't believe so. No, their tags have already been in my, or no, there's 20, 12, 20, no, those aren't ours. I'm sorry, I don't have any treats. So this poor horse can barely walk. He's going to have some viewless face and sin chill on board. Make him a little more comfortable for the uh, trip back to the shelter. Pretty sure he's just really foundered. Every step is major, major pain. Big horse pen. I'm gonna get the white one back. Just, yes. just pull them out and then we'll come on, buddy. So this poor guy just buckles over when he tries to walk. And it's really sad. It's just... so this poor guy, if you want to stop just a second, this poor guy's feet are flippers. Literally flippers. So, one of the horses was given to us, has strangles. He is way back there. These bushes have thorns on them. They're taller than me, it looks like. And I'm gonna have to go back there and try to get him up here. This guy really has messed up front legs. It's just so sad, like. He looks like a really young horse, but he's just got horrible front legs. One by one, the horses are coming out of the pens, getting their intake pictures done at the uh, auction here. And then they're being put in pens with other compatible horses so that they can be loaded up and transported to the shelter. Raise a voice, hear it echo. We know where we come from. We know where we've been. So we're getting the little guys next, and they are ready for us, so. All right, we're gonna let them go. So this is a blind horse coming through. We're gonna put him up in front so he's not scared trying to load with all the other horses. And then we'll run the other guys in. 51 horses getting ready to get on the road. We got 51 loaded. 51 horses loaded up and ready to head back to our shelter. It's really amazing seeing, you know, we have two different organizations working here together. One we've already mentored and one we're currently mentoring. And in the horse rescue world, a lot of organizations can't get along at all. So it is great to have, you know, these two organizations here working together and with our organization 
and it's something that needs to happen a lot more. We need to put our differences aside and come together for the horses and uh, that's what we saw here today. So we got to get these guys back to the shelter and it's going to be uh, very busy when we get back there. Would you be the most beautiful consequence of a world that's coming down? Standing up on our own for the things we know. Raise a voice, hear it echo. Shelby likes the vertical yeah. position to video from. Fox yeah. getting all mic'd up so he can actually hear him and his words of wisdom and his wit and witticism. I don't know all about either of those, but hey, we'll have to have a good editor. So what do you think what do you think about this here uh, 51 horses showing up? Well, uh, a little bit panicked, but other than that, we have seen some nice horses and uh, like the donkeys. So I don't know. We're just gonna have to ride it out. Just just grab hold and hang on. This is the fifth load, it's the more critical one. And we are getting busy on the auction intake. All five trailers are here now and we're ready to get going. Got quite a few of them. How many? I can't. 51? Yeah, I think it's 51. We're gonna do the blind one next, so he doesn't have to be in with all the other horses. Lost pressure, lost suction. Getting Coggins uh, on this pony? Or Corey, have you ever seen hooves like that before? Only on videos. So Christine, what do you think about 51 horses showing up today? <laughs> it was pretty intense, but um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> this looks like all Jack to me. This is all boy, definitely. 4.30 on the way. So do we usually uh, geld donkeys, donkeys when we get them in from auction? Donkeys can pick up a very serious uh, sickness from auctions. It attacks their lungs. Uh, they can be like this one day and dead the next. Um, and so for these jacks to come in, we give them a bunch of antibiotics. We give them a little bit of time just in case they do happen to get that sickness. They don't have to go through a gelding operation. Um, and so hopefully he'll do good. He looks super healthy right now. Um, so we would just wait a little bit to geld them just to help them uh, hopefully pull through that. We don't have to worry about that with the horses, but with the, the donkeys we do. Don. If we move your table eight inches this way, you would be in the shade. Is that, really is that something crazy. you'd like to do? Yeah, since I'm dying. How old is it? 18. 18. This little pony's getting everything he needs to be healthy, happy, and wise. The donkey's getting Exceed, which is a long-lasting antibiotic, because donkeys get a really nasty disease sometimes. It's a flu-type uh, infection and they can die overnight. It's really horrible when that happens, and it happens way too much. We found this cocktail of different things we give them is the best way to keep them alive and give them the best chance of doing well. Help them out there, Corey. Uh, you go. Hey, what do you think about 51 horses showing up today? It's a lot, definitely a lot. We've already got... Do you see any you like? Some of them are pretty cute. The ponies are nice and cute too. What about the draft? Is he big enough? The draft is nice too. He's big. How many have we intake so far? 14. Oh, uh, 51. That we're going, moving right along. Yeah. Wait, another donkey. He's a big, handsome donkey. No gelding. We can't fix his feet and. Um, you know, sadly, when they come here and they have problems that we cannot fix, and especially because he's an older donkey, um, 
you know, we'd love to fix them all, but we just, we can't sometimes. So sadly, uh, we are going to have to do the last act of kindness for him. Um, you know, if, if his previous owner had taken care of his feet properly, we wouldn't be looking at this right now. But somebody, you know, just neglected him to the point that he is suffering now. We think he's got a ruptured extensor tendon because we looked at the x-ray and we're going, oh, there's not enough damage to that bone. But he can't pick, he can't extend his foot. So yeah. I'd rather have a broken bone than a ruptured tendon because they just sort of flop in the wind. And he's about 30 years old and so. it's very difficult <laughs> for him. And it looks like they threw shoes just on long feet because the nail is right there and it has cleats on the bottom. Her x-rays look pretty clean. There might be some fusing going on, but we're going to put her on a watch list and see how she does. Sir, how many have we intake so far? I, you know, I don't know. Whatever. What? We were on 14 like three hours ago. Well, you know, when you have a lot of x-rays and everything to do, it goes by very slow. Doc, your hat's on backwards. Why is your hat on backwards? Oh, because I was looking at the x-ray machine in my bill. I was looking at the x-ray machine and it was... In the way, huh? It was in the way. Either that or I've got to speed up and I need to be aerodynamic. Yeah, so there we go. people commented you look 20 years younger with your hat on backwards. <laughs> they did. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do x-rays. We're putting all the information in for the horse. Its knee is pretty rough if we come down here. It's got a pretty big bump on its knee and we just want to see what's going on in there. So unfortunately, a borrowed car locked itself in like Kirby. Luckily, it's my grandmother, so she won't care. Okay, so it's your grandmother, so she won't care. Because uh, Keith, who uh, in a younger wild lord life, did this for entertainment purposes. Yeah, entertainment. For all legal reasons, it was entertainment. <laughs> That's right. And uh, anyway, here in uh, rural Tennessee, you can't just call a 24 hour tow service to come get you out because literally they're all closed. Mm -hmm. Left messages, nobody's calling back because it's after five. Good thing. You're leaving. I am. Stay up tomorrow. I am leaving. So one, one, maybe one last question. <laughs> Do you like big horses or little horses? Um, well, I like big horses when they're calm and nice. The little ones, a lot of the times, they have like. I don't know, just really feisty personalities. Next and, question. Yeah. Can you do the limbo underneath the gira uh, draft horse? <laughs> I'm sure I could. I think she could do I a don't, limbo I could, I, a pony. I feel like I could just walk underneath them. <laughs> I can walk under some warm ones and drafts. Yeah, so like see? Under that. Don't know you to, I don't even need to limbo. Uh, always take your keys out of your vehicles, folks, even if you just toss them on the Or roll your bed. windows down. That looks flies in. No one cares. So tomorrow's the last day, Corey, yes, for a is. while. You're going to be right back, though. You're going to be working full time, right? Yes, I will be. I'm so it's only two weeks I'm away, though. So do you like big horses or little horses? I like bigger horses, but I prefer quarter horses. All right, what about mules? Do you like mules more oh, than I love horses? mules. Uh, not as much as horses, but it's, it's pretty close. All righty. What about donkeys? Uh, you know, I haven't worked with donkeys too much, but I'm pretty sure working out here, it's going to change that a lot. We've got a pretty good bit of founder going on here. We're pretty sore. Uh, you want the hoof wall, the hoof wall to line up with the founder. I've seen worse, but he seems very she, ouchy. She seems very, very sore and painful. So she may be sort of going through another bout of it right now. Okay, so what's the verdict on her? So she's foundered and she's hurting. She's going to need pain management, but she's not as bad as some we've seen. Okay, well, I mean. We're a smaller facility. We can take her on if you want us to. That, it's that would more be amazing. Of a, it's a more of a one-on-one, -on -one, and if for She's some going to take time. Yeah. yeah. And if for some reason, like we feel like it's not in the best interest of her, we can work with our vet from there, and we'll get her in better contact with him as soon as we get her home. That sounds good. And we'll give you that transfer grant to help care for her. That would be mm -hmm. wonderful. Shelby, how many hours yep. do you reckon you've worked in the last couple of days? Um, <laughs> 
I really have no idea. How many hours do you think you're gonna work? She gets to go home. Two. Well, okay, so how late did you work last night? Probably. It's 11.30, just in case you forgot. When, uh, when did you start working yesterday? Uh, at 12-ish. 12 12-ish, I thought we got... You were oh, there! Yeah. We left, we left. Okay, 12. And you're talking to the wrong person. So 11, so okay, so 11. You were right. there all morning, yeah, yeah, she was, she got there at 9.30 with the rest of the media team. I'm tired, I'm tired. She's tired, she forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Then when, we, when did we get to work this morning? <sighs> 6.30. Oh, for you? It was 7.30 for you? 7? 7. 7. Yeah. And it's what? 9.30 at night or whatever it is? Is No, it's not. I don't know what time it is. How she you know? Uh, it's 6.30. Okay. So, you know, you're going on 24 hours of work in two days, so. Yeah, you can sit for a minute. So far, it has been going pretty good. Um, we were able to start a little earlier and get a whole trailer done before the next three trailers showed up or four trailers showed up so that was pretty helpful so it was kind of a get up and go as soon as we got up here we've taken some x-rays of this mare and she's got some bony changes in her knee she's got a club foot with uh and her coffin bone starting to dissolve uh so every step she takes is pain and we can give her some butte and stop it for a while but she's probably going to have to be on butte for the rest of her life and long term being on butte isn't good it's uh, hard on the kidneys stomach yeah and she she does she's in a lot of pain she has a hard time walking. She so. don't want to walk. So doc and i were having a conversation as far as from the critical horses which one would be the most merciful to give the last act of kindness to because we, you know, we rescued 50 horses. We have a lot of horses on the watch list, and because of her pain level, um, we we feel that this is the the kindest option for her. Um, it's sad, but it's something her owner should have done a long time ago instead of dumping her at the auction. So, Keith, how many hours do you think you worked in the last couple of days? Ah, uh, let's see. I think it was uh, 14 yesterday and I started at uh, about 7.15 this morning. And it's it about is. seven. And now, yeah, it's about a quarter to seven now, so. 26 hours and two days? So far. So far. And, and we still and got a few more horses to go. They do this pin firing, it's supposed to strengthen the tendons and and we're causing a reaction and cause some scarring to st strengthen them, but I, I don't know if it works or not. So the biggest problem she has is this hernia. Yeah, this is problematic. And you can feel the wall over here, and it feels like it goes up to the rib cage. A hernia is a donut hole. Like she's got a hole in her muscle wall or in her intestine there's a layer of fat there and skin, and that's the only thing between her intestine. There's no muscle. So if she cut that on a barbed wire, her intestine will come out. Barbed wire, another horse kicker. With, could it, could it, I mean, there's a lot of other things. Done it. The problem with doing surgery here is it's on the bottom and all the way to the horse. Well, you got to pull, but you'd have to pull the muscle together, scratch it up, pull it together. They're easier to fix. That's one of the things where, uh, the smaller the animal, her, easier hernia is to fix. But uh, on her, I don't know if you could pull that muscle together and, and close it up, and then you're gonna have a lot of tension on your line and you're still gonna have three or 400 pounds of intestine pushing on your surgery line. And, and she has a bum leg down here. Looks like she could do it. And she's 20 years old, so it, it, with all of that added up together, I mean, it wouldn't be fair at her age to try to put her through that surgery oh, man, either. Yeah, so. That would be a fun thing. She would need, I don't know if they make surgery mesh that much for something. What breed is she? Standard bred. So she was so a she's cart the, racing uh, horse. She's got the brand up there. That explains the fiery. Yep. Well, we got problems. Oh, saving the eyes, no problem. The, the eyelid, the closed eyelid is going to be problematic. The eyelid, eyeball's good there. Um, 
you have a problem with the pink skin and the white face, it, that's where you get cancer. It's probably cancer. Uh, we could cut it off and see. There may be. Cutting it off and seeing, but then she went. She but wouldn't have an eye. They, it's gone so far that you don't have an eyelid to close over. Like it's eye, all the way, oops, sensitive. It's all the way back here. It's it's tunneled mm -hmm. in. Yeah, yeah. they've always, they always go further. And so then you'd have to remove that eye. Have to remove the eye, and by the time you cut out the swollen part back there and all that, it'd be probably. And more. then it can keep growing also. So this is the kind of that. animal that Corey likes being with. What do you think of this particular meal? Uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just got a few cuts on its uh, face and a few cuts on its legs. Other than that, how's yeah. this training so far? So far, it seems really friendly. It seems really docile. It doesn't seem like it has any issues leading up. Uh, we'll figure more out later. I'm really thrilled that Corey is joining our team because um, we get a lot of mules through here, and none of our horse trainers are mule savvy, and I've I've never been mule savvy. So it's awesome to have somebody here that knows mules, and you know them really well because you were what uh, uh, mule days? Yeah, Bishop Mule Days World Champion over in Bishop, California. So or Reserve World Champion. Excuse you, me. You know some things about mules, so sure we're do. thrilled to have him here. Somebody that knows mules, yay! So uh, Corey, there's mule days here, and uh, there is. I bet you're going to be uh, very interested in getting yourself a mule or two and doing some fun things over there. Absolutely, I'd love to. Doc, how often do you x-ray eyeballs? Uh, no. It's trying, we think it's trying to get in the bone. At least microscopically. Yeah. So what's it doing, Doc? It's getting we, the bone? We, we think the tumor's trying to invade the bone and go into the orbit, and once the squamous cell gets in the bone, you're in, you're in trouble. The last horse? You should look right behind you. There's Shelby. Oh, way up. Oh, no. We still have to do all those? Okay. We'll just keep getting them done. And he's on there. Okay. So this guy weighs 1,720 pounds. That is the biggest horse we've ever had on our scales. I didn't even know if he would fit in here. Christine, you need to come hold this horse. Go this way, Christine. Okay, we think he's over 25. Look at the wire on these top outside teeth. See how long the bottom ones are. And he may be a little bit of a cribber, but they're usually pretty skinny, but he's worn his front top teeth down. What are this meal? This one's pretty cool. It's actually a mammoth meal. So it's a, what? A, it's a mammoth meal. Oh, okay. So it's from a mammoth jack and uh, probably a draft horse. Uh, she seems to be about 12 years old. She seems really gentle as well as the uh, same as the last one. Well, she might be a little older than 12 looking at her again, but yeah. So we're trying to speed up the process because the sun is setting and we still have a uh, pen full of horses to do. So we're really working hard to get them done this evening. She's going out right now. Hey. Where have you been hiding? In the office. How's it going down there? It's good. Cooler than out here. Y'all are ready to head home, right? I mean, it's been 20, 12 27 hours. 27, hours of yeah. Yeah. a couple of days, yeah. So go home and get some rest. Are you coming to work tomorrow, Angela? Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, y'all have a great evening. Thank you. It's just getting way too late to be able to uh, intake the rest of the horses here. There's a mule that's feeling pretty sick, so we're gonna pull that one up and then uh, kind of do the rest of them tomorrow on a very small team. We will be filming, mentoring the other organization, um, so I won't be really available here to hang out with Doc, but I fully trust Doc to make all the right decisions for all the horses here because he's the expert. 
Uh, it's a younger meal. I don't know if it's been handled too much. Um, it didn't really seem to know how to lead up when I was asking it to. I just took a little bit of release pressure and uh, asked it a couple times for it to come up. So we finally got him, or her. She seems like she's calming down a little bit, but we're going to put her back in the chute for vaccinations and warming. I think she is going to fall asleep on her feet. Good thing you get yeah. another day tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to hold you up. It's kind of like the horses that are like, No, 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 no. It's, you put a long day hard work in. I think you need to go sit down or wait until your ride's ready to go. And Yeah. Yeah. And then fall asleep in the car. <laughs> yes, exactly. Not on your feet. So. No, no. Yeah, no. Just find a spot to sit down, relax. We don't want you <laughs> killing over here. There were the two, um, the big black bear and a sorrel bear. Yeah. Can you guys sorrel. find them and pull them out? I, I know, I just have them on. They both There's leave. Not. Why don't you find them and pull them out? Ponytails is going to be heading back tomorrow, and we didn't realize that they have to have their horses intaked tonight. And so there's two more horses that need to be intaken, and then, uh, then we can we can go. So, um, yeah, night just got a little bit longer. He's the reserve Grand, world champion. Grand National World Champion. Oh, him? Yeah. 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 They're like mule trainer? <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming. Oh, I really appreciate it. And and you get to take a new one home. Yeah, yeah. someone so. to uh, yeah. get home and then I will talk to y'all and we'll try to get kind of a load together All right. that y'all want to bring out. Yeah. Yeah, and we sounds, have plenty of room, plenty sounds of pasture. Good. We've sounds, got easily 70 acres we're not even using right now. So that's, we can that's great. definitely put anyone that yeah. needs to be on there on. Awesome, awesome. That would be great. I will talk to you all tonight. All right. Home. No, not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. No, come on. No. I'm just kidding. I'm not not tonight. Let's talk tomorrow. I'm not going to do that to you. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. Right yeah, good. Good. I see those posts you post in the middle of the night. I see them the next day. But that's, um, yeah, don't, not tonight. Oh, I know. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're just putting all the stuff in the uh, stall in here for the night? For the night, yes, because we'll be out here in the morning or the afternoon. You want to check out Ponytail's YouTube channel, just go ahead and click the link that just showed up on your screen and you can see all the great work they do with their organization. And uh, Tess is the one here that takes most of the video and it's a team effort to get it compiled, but you're really going to want to check out their YouTube channel. Sarah, how many horses did we actually manage to intake today? We intaked 41 out of 51, so we just have 10 left to do tomorrow, but it's kind of late and everybody's ready to go home and we maybe number? sleep tonight. So we'll do the other 10 tomorrow. And you're not actually going to be here for a while, right? Yes, I am actually not going to be here for a while. I leave for vacation tomorrow, so sadly they have to do without me, but they'll be fine. We're invoking the old cowboy rule. A real cowboy never stands when they can see it. Yes. It's been a very long, long 24 hours of my life, but it's 100% worth it because we're helping a lot of horses. But uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. Speak. I don't know. We don't know what to say. We're just both, I think, really, really tired. We're, we're both tired. Uh, Tony was up all night and then I've had to work a clinic. Unfortunately, one of my veterinarians at the clinic's out with COVID, so I had to sort of pull dirt and double duty there. But we met a lot of nice people from other places. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, we can't say that. Oh, I'm can't sorry. Either, the reason you just heard a bleep was because you're not supposed to know where uh, we're mentoring the other organization, so. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's fine. how come? It's a secret until the season two is released oh. that we're filming. We're filming season two right now. So we got a hook for them next, for next yes. time. Yeah, we gotta now just I keep know. it a secret. It's not like me or Jason disappears and somebody, no, no, they no. don't know what happened. No, this is season two of Course Rescue Heroes. Okay, do we need to start again? No, no, no. We're mentoring that other secret organization, but Ponytails was here from Wisconsin. So we can talk about that. We can't talk about the other place. Okay. I won't talk about nothing else. Other than we had a massive amount of horses today. <laughs> yes, we did. And all, we, we did have a lot of good ones today. We had some that we had to do that. There were four that needed the last act of kindness, but four out of 51 horses 
is, I mean, that's that's not as many as it could have been. It's not. And we do have seven more on a watch list, and we don't know how that's gonna come out. But the main thing is that they're here and they're safe. All these other horses that we were able to do the intakes on, and um, it wouldn't be possible without people just like you. And uh, we couldn't do it without Doc either, because. I just want to thank everybody for their support, because I've been doing this a long time, but I feel like I'm doing good, fulfilling work that makes a difference. So thanks for helping. There's not many vets that'd be out here uh, working late into the night with us, uh, but we, we super grateful to have Doc on board. And I know all our fans just love you to death. We see all kinds of great comments for you all the time. In fact, we even did a Facebook, I oh, know a YouTube poll. If you were the best vet in the world or just the best vet, and you had a hundred percent votes. Oh, wow. Yes. Got hundreds of votes. Hundreds, hundreds it of votes. Could be that I've outpracticed everybody else, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just outlasted them. Yes, well, anyways. It's Thank been, you. It's everyone. been a good day. We are finishing up the intake of the last few horses from auction that we didn't get to do yesterday. Wait, didn't Christine say she's going to be on vacation? Well, she couldn't resist helping out with intake. We're doing intake on the horses that we weren't able to last night because it just got too dark. And uh, part of our staff was scheduled to go on vacation. So we're working with the uh, limited staff today, but it's okay, we are going to get it done. I'll never be the same Because of you I'm changed for the better And I just can't explain What you've done the I'll never be the same since the day you came, and I just can't explain what it is you've done. Yeah. Alright, we got another good looking mule in here, huh? We sure do. Let's see how old she is, huh? Did he have an option over? I did not see one. No, there's no option. This one is about 10 years old. Funny Tales is trying to figure out which horses they would like to take. What do we give her? We give her. We ended up taking seven from the auction and then two others, so nine in total, and we will be getting them loaded up and headed back to Wisconsin, and hopefully we'll arrive tomorrow. Funny Tales is backing up to get their horses loaded. Well, it's not often we get ponytails from Wisconsin in our office doing paperwork to transfer horses. So this is kind of cool. Doc's down here down health certificates. Angela is uh, waiting for the next phone call. So who all did you find out you're gonna take? We are going to take Wildflower okay. in June. All right. Um, off Maddie's suggestion. Nice. And then two of the horses that we got at the auction we think will be better staying here, not making okay. a long trip. So we are taking three of them, but then we are taking six others, right? Nice. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Right. awesome. <laughs> well, if we find uh, June and Wildflower here, we can put our mother-in-law, Walt. Move them on over. This is our found its home or its place this month. It's found love. So over there it says looking for love and found it. Okay. It has been just so awesome having it here at our facility and helping with the auction rescue and coming and rescuing horses at the mm -hmm. auction. It's just been a, a blur of excitement this week, but to have you here and just to see how much your organization's growing and and you're able to help mentor this other organization too. Yeah. I mean, who would have thought two years ago you'd be helping mentor another organization too? So it's just super exciting, and you're you're in taking horses from our facility, so yeah. that will give us room to rescue even more. So I just can't thank you enough for all of your hard work and dedication and 
and effort you've put into your organization. Well, we can't thank you guys enough for all the help getting here. And it's, it's always great to be welcome back down here. And yeah, no, for sure. It's been a, a great so journey nice. with yeah. y'all. And I hope there's many, many more years of exciting journeys ahead. So. Same. Yes, yeah, so for sure. Well, yeah. Thanks so much for awesome. coming down and helping thank with you. this week. It's not a problem. It's been exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> So Ponytails is taking two of our horses. They have their, have some people looking for gated horses and we always have a bunch. So it's nice to be able to send a couple with, with them and hopefully they'll get nice homes up there. <laughs>